here's the racing deal that I'm working on. I had to take the day off to go pick up another member of the fleet. I'm getting my own little fleet here. And since the bike is only going to be new once, and I, I haven't ridden it yet, I just came home take a took a nap. I'm going to um, take videos of it to see the difference between this 2013 and the 1993 that was this bike. And then the first thing that struck me is underneath the seat is a helmet holder. Okay, I there's keys. Here are the keys. Right, oops, right there. Under the seat is a helmet holder. All right. Well, on a normal bike, I'm looking all around here for a keyhole to open the seat. Except there's no keyhole. So I'm going around here and I'm I'm looking in the underneath the light. That's a neat light, by the way. And I'm looking over here. There's nothing. I look underneath here. There's nothing. And then, of course. When all else fails, read the directions. And they have a way to unlock the seat that I, I would have never even guessed. First of all, one of the innovations of the bike, and I, I didn't really go through and check out the bike before I bought it. All I knew is it, it's what I wanted. And I'd heard good reviews about it, but I didn't study every aspect of it because I, I have plenty of time to do that. The keys are really neat. This is one of the keys right here. And it turns or it pivots, not pivots, I don't know what you'd say, how you say that. It stands, it stands upright. Like that. And I go, okay, well what's that for? Then I came over here. Now this is all about the helmet holder deal. I came over here and what they have, they've done here is they put a steel plate in front of the the keyhole so you can't take a screwdriver in there and jack it. The only way to get this to open is you take this little end right there and you go right there. So if I can do this, my hands are kind of stiff. You go right here like this. The damn thing will get in there and you turn it to the open position which goes like that and it opens isn't that kind of cool now with these new modern bikes the way to open the seat right here and I have not looked underneath it and as you can see it's got 1.7 miles on it since they had to take it on the test track to make sure it worked you take the key and you put it in all the way in like that. Now if you turn it this way or this way it turns the bike on. But if you turn it, push down and turn it this way, that way, it's supposed to Um, un unlock the seat. Maybe it's got a. Oh shit! I don't know. I'll be here for an hour or two for trying to figure this out. Well, it said it said that what you do is you. It's off. Push. And you turn. I don't know, you don't, you don't pull the key out. I'm going to have to push. Push. No. Push. I'm going to have to recheck those directions. Because this is supposed to open, but it, it hasn't opened. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do, gonna do a whole channel on the Zuma. Th this one anyway. I'm not gonna modify it in any way. At least I won't promise that. But I'm. I think maybe a bigger variator would work kind of cool. But we'll see. 
anyway I'm going to have a whole channel on the Zuma and I want to take a lot of videos when it's in brand new conditions because it's never going to be in brand new condition again as soon as I take it out and ride it I'm going to state what I like about it what I don't like about it and but I really like these these big boob headlights those are cool that's going to be too and we can continue.